Uh, I really don't think Pepper's boots will be on the moon. Nonsense! Mrs. Duck flew to the moon, and that's where we're going. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> and her friend have landed on the moon. I can jump really high. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> is it magic? Not exactly, Peppa. It's because the moon is much smaller than the Earth. In simple terms, gravity equals g times m divided by radius times 2, where g is the gravitational constant. So, it's magic? Yes, it's magic. Right, let's find that duck. Looking on the moon, looking everywhere. Looking high, looking low for the golden boots. Are they in a crater? No! Are they on a mountain? No! Looking on the moon for the golden boots. <sighs> How will we ever find my boots? <laughs> Let's ask at the shop. Shop? Where? You don't get shops on the moon. You do. Look. Postcards, ice cream, buckets and spades. It is Miss Rabbit's gift shop. Oh, hello. Thank goodness someone's turned up. I haven't had a customer on the moon for years and years. Miss Rabbit, have you seen a duck in boots? A duck on the moon? That's a bit unlikely if you ask me. Yes, ducks flying to the moon? Complete nonsense. Why did you tell us to come here, Mummy Pig? What? Uh, but I didn't. Uh, but if Mrs Duck didn't fly to the moon, where can she be? Grumpy Rabbit in Space. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we have a special treat. Grumpy Rabbit is here to talk about space rockets. Rocket! George loves space rockets. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit has a very loud voice. What have I got here? A rock. Yes, but not any old rock. I found it on the moon! Ooh. My dad sells rocks in packs of five. Yes, thank you, Freddy. You don't need to go to the moon to get them. You do if you want moon rock. Grumpy Rabbit, how did you go to the moon? I flew in a rocket. It's a bit small. This is just a model. The rocket I went in was ginormous! Do you all know how to count to five? Yes! One, two, three, four, five! Excellent! But when you go into space, you count backwards. Five, four, three, two, one... And then you have to shout, blast off! As loudly as possible! Blast off! I can't hear anything! Blast off! Vroom! There I was, flying through space! Ooh. And then I landed on the moon! It was so beautiful up there, I was lost for words. That sounds nice. Did you know you could jump really high on the moon? Oh! How high? As high as a house! Why can you jump so high on the moon? Um. The gravitational pull is smaller on the moon. Oh, yes, that's it. They're quite the clever clogs, aren't we? Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. I was a little bit lonely up there. 
but just the moon and the stars. And the most exciting bit was... What's the most exciting bit, Grumpy Rabbit? I can't hear you. Why has he stopped talking? Oh dear, Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. I had better ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Hello, Dr. Brown Bear. Grumpy Rabbit has lost his voice. Is that such a bad thing? Yes. He's giving an important talk about space rockets to the children. Oh, in that case, I'll be straight there. <laughs> Hello, Grampy Rabbit. I hear you've lost your voice. <coughs> Say, ah, please. <coughs> I see, yes, a very serious case of losing a voice. Too much shouting, I imagine. Let's see if a little bit of medicine helps. Open wide. Try saying, ah, now. <coughs> Louder. That's better! <laughs> Not back to normal! Back getting there! Hooray! Now, where was I? You were just about to tell us the most exciting bit. Oh, yes! The most exciting bit was I wrote a song. Uh, would you like to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please! I got up this morning and all I could see was the moon and the sun. The moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars, the moon, the stars. <laughs> Princess Peppa. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> Granny and Grandpa Pig have come for dinner. Hello. Hello. Where are Pepper and George? They're asleep. Oh, but I so wanted to see them. Can I take a peek? OK, Granny Pig, but be very quiet. <coughs> Granny Pig! Granny Pig! Hello, my little darlings. You should be asleep. Tell us a story. OK, but only if you promise to go straight back to sleep. We'll go to sleep. After the story. All right. Once upon a time, there was... A little boy called Pedro Pony, and he found some magic beans. Oh, yes. Now, Pedro planted that bean, and it grew into an enormous beanstalk that went high into the sky. That's right. Pedro climbed to the top of that beanstalk and found a... A horrible big giant. I don't want that. I want a princess. Oh, yes. There he found a beautiful Princess Peppa. <laughs> and Sir George, the brave knight. And a cook who makes the most delicious food ever. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Grandpa Pig are waiting to eat dinner. I'll go and see what's keeping Granny Pig. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig. You woke the little ones. We promised to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and a cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The End. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Ah, a scary dragon! <laughs> Emma, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet. 
Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> right, I think I'd better sort this out. <laughs> Daddy Pig. They're almost asleep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll take over now. You have to finish the story, Mummy. All right, quickly now. Tell me what's happened. Once upon a time, in olden days, a long time ago... Mummy Pig's been up there for a long time. I can hear snoring. At last, Pepper and George are asleep. And then they all lived happily ever after. The end. Peppa? George? Shh! Mummy is asleep. <laughs> it looks like Princess Peppa is the best at telling bedtime stories. That's right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> the Time Capsule Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Today, we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Peppa. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. <laughs> A toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. <laughs> A carrot. <laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <coughs> You're probably all living on the moon now and going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. It is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. Mummy, Daddy, we've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Oh, it will remain in the ground for many years. Aw, but I can't wait that long. Peppa, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes my mum and <laughs> When your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule, too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> 
I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favorite comic. A tin toy? My favorite toy. Music. My favorite record. And a very old carrot. That's mine. What a good choice, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh. <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me. Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. <laughs> and finding them is even better. <laughs> Toy plane. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. We need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. Then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put... George in it! <laughs> uh, no. I think that might be a bit dangerous. Aww. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Ah, you see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. Hooray! Juice for 
everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs>